Well, it's the battle of the Sangmas once again in the hill state with the TMC leader Mukul Sangma accusing Chief Minister Conrad Sangma of associating with an alleged drug smuggling kingpin. That's right, viewers. Taking part in the discussion on the motion regarding the menace of drugs and substance abuse in Meghalaya, Mukul Sangma brought to the notice of the House Chief Minister Conrad Sangma's photo with a person identified as Henry Lalrem Sangha, an alleged kingpin involved in smuggling of drugs back in 2013. The picture was taken during an event in Delhi. Mughal Sangma also claimed that when he tried to find out as to how a person with such antecedents got access to the chief minister in such a high-profile event, he was stormed. He was informed that the sitting arrangement was requested by the chief minister's office. Mughal Sangma advised Chief Minister Conrad Sangma to avoid association with such a person who has been accused in a drug smuggling case. Listen in. Those one of our colleagues in International Congress, who happened to be MM from Mizora. His son got arrested, and it is carried by many of the national newspapers. Business tender, April 23rd, 2013. And the news read, the news reads like this, the article says that <clears throat> seizure of rupees six crore drugs, kingpin of gang, arrested. The text goes like this in a nutshell, only the initial para. A commerce graduate from Mizora has been arrested in connection with the seizure of rupees six crore worth banned tablets here allegedly from the son of a former Congress MLA. Henry Lal Ramsanga, whom police describe as the kingpin of the gang, was arrested yesterday. He was coming from Mizoram and is involved in illegal trade along with Arvind Ahuja, son of the former MLA Ashok Ahuja and his driver. According to additional commissioner of police crime, so and so, the trial allegedly supplied the substance tablets in Mizoram and other states of Northeast India, other states of Northeast India, not just Mizoram. Now, <clears throat> it is more disturbing to me when I came across another vital information which showed me that he is one of the close associate of none other than our Honorable Chief Minister Sri Conrad Sam. Yes, this is the photograph of the Honorable Chief Minister Sri Conrad Sama and his wife and Mr. Henry in one of a very high profile program in Delhi. I was more inquisitive to know. I had to advise the Honorable CM to avoid this association with this man. Yes, is he aware of this fact, background of this man? And I tried to find out also how did he manage to find a space in this kind of high profile event, sharing the same table. Then I was informed that this sitting arrangement was requested by CM's office. So therefore, Mr. Speaker, sir, what I'm trying to say is that we got to be really careful of who we are associating with. And uh, reacting strongly, Chief Minister Conrad Sangma termed Mukul Sangma's observation and remarks as most illogical. Chief Minister Sangma said that the veteran politician should know that being a public figure, the Chief Minister of a state meets many people and even poses for photographs with them. Listen in. Uh, both him and myself and uh, all of us in the house, we are all public figures. Uh, I meet and I sit and click pictures with millions of people. Even if I'm walking in the street, somebody will stop me. I never say no because we are public figures. <laughs> I think connecting two individuals' activities based on and, and coming to a conclusion based on a photograph, 
I think is the most illogical conclusion that anybody can jump to. It has to be based on evidence and on proof of what activities were taking place and I have no clue, number one, what these uh, activities were. Uh, and I know many, many people, individuals who are there. As I said, public figures are there. As public figures, we need to talk to everybody. So I think it's very unfortunate that uh, one picture has been taken and a conclusion has been jumped into uh, of trying to implicate or indicate that I have something to do with it. If there was, then it would have come out in public. You know, if there was, then it would have been a big issue. You know, like this, I have to stop clicking pictures with public. I have to stop going to public functions. Uh, I don't think a photograph and finding two photographs, two individuals, especially today in social media, in Facebook and all, and jump to a conclusion that the two have something to do or are doing work together or are involved in something, I think is a very, very wrong conclusion to jump to. Uh, and also, even if there was some, uh, you know, program that uh, two people have attended together or whatever sittings were done, I mean, these things happen. Programs are made, organizing committees make it, and we sit with thousands of people. It doesn't mean that, uh, you know, that we are, um, uh, you know, have any um, uh, involvement in the concern activities that were there at that point in time. You know, I could even be talking to somebody and discussing and working with somebody. But uh, again, my uh, I'm not talking about this individual. I, I couldn't even hear who the person, concerned person was. But there could be cases where, uh, you know, I could be talking to somebody about something else completely. And the person could have been involved in something else completely. I think again, connecting to those, those two dots and then jumping to conclusion again is wrong. So does the court case or whatever police case that was filed, does that have Conrad Sangma's name in it? I think that is the precise question. Whether we were called for any kind of discussion on it or any kind of case was filed against us, I think that is the basis on which a statement of this level by a person uh, of uh, his stature should be making. It's unfortunate that he's jumping. Uh, I'm sure that if I start looking into the internet, uh, I'll find millions of pictures of many, many other people sitting with so many other people. So I don't think that this is uh, really uh, the correct way to look at it. It's, it's sad that uh, uh, you know, a person of his level, as, as I said, brought in a photograph and just jumped to a conclusion connecting two people based on a photograph of two people being clicked together. I think in today's world, it is the most ridiculous way of proving anything. So I have no comments to say about that.